Now there's fallout tonight from our Target 12 investigators exclusive Risky Ride. Last week we uncovered a controversial program that puts ex-cons in direct contact with Rhode Island's most vulnerable citizens. And tonight we've learned RIPTA is making changes in response to our investigation. Iowa News News reporter Catherine Sotnick joins us now live in our newsroom with the exclusive details. Well, Mike, I can tell you that decision came late this afternoon after a RIPTA board meeting and now former inmates are no longer allowed to drive any ride buses. The announcement comes just days after Target 12 investigators reported that RIPTA hired two ex-convicts as drivers for their ride program, which does serve the elderly and the disabled. The men had lengthy criminal records and had served time at the ACI. RIPTA CEO Charles Odimwe initiated the partnership with the nonprofit Open Doors, telling Target 12 that he does believe in second chances. Is this the type of person that you think should be driving around the disabled and elderly? Uh, I, I, no, I mean, not, like I said before, the program is a pilot project that we're starting to see if we can get these people become productive members of this community. But now, in a 180, RIPTA board chair Tom Deller tells us Odimwe has, has suspended Somebody RIPTA's has relationship with that nonprofit. Deller says Odimwe told them at Monday's meeting that there have been some concerns about that partnership. In the Target 12 piece, we showed you how disabled and elderly Rhode Islanders are picked up and dropped off by ride buses, often alone in the vehicle with no one but the RIPTA driver. Deller tells us the men profiled in the Target 12 piece are no longer behind the wheel of a ride bus, but at this point it's not clear if they were reassigned within RIPTA. And Odimwe did not return any of our phone calls tonight. As for the board, they say that they didn't know about any of this. The chair of the board says they didn't know about any of this until those men were actually on the payroll. And they do plan to talk about this at one of their next board meetings. I'm Katherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.